you're welcome to my channel yes i got nanny online uh i know I, it, look 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 i know it's been a while since you saw aka bands but uh, yo i've i've been with you i've been sending you videos with raw and uncut right and you love them right check out my last video if you haven't seen raw and uncut it's on a different playlist from the playlist aka bands but yeah this is another video um and i'm excited to be doing this video with you i have g hey wait did i rub cream this morning are my hands ashy no they're not i think they're fine yeah i'm good i'm good i have very dry skin anyways guys so a lot has happened over the week but before we go into that i want you guys to subscribe to my channel yo like aka bands is back aka is back and i want y'all to show me love i want us to get to twenty thousand subscribers by the end of two months in two months twenty thousand can we do that can we get to 20 i'm on eleven thousand seven hundred now i think can we make it twenty thousand in two months can we okay anyways though so that's all good i love you all i love you all thank you all for the love for always watching and always supporting and sharing the videos and liking the videos and commenting now i try as much as possible possible to you know reply comments anyway so First thing I want to talk about, I saw something on Twitter and it really piqued my interest because it had happened to me real life, like, you know, real time. And I was like, yo, I, get, I, I should talk about this with my people. Okay. So what do you feel about some other girl calling your boyfriend a girl? So you know how girls are like, girl, when they're gisting or bitch, <laughs> you know, and then if he has a female friend and you're there and she says girl and they continue gisting how would you feel one of my friends yo we were discussing about it today and then <laughs> somebody said hey <laughs> she will hear it is it gay <laughs> my boyfriend you're calling gay come on we don't get up but yo um quite what do you think about it y'all i i really want to see what you think about it on the comments but yo let me first talk to you about this first so I don't think it's that much of an issue. I don't think it's that big of an issue, okay? I It's happened to me before. I walked into um, my friend's house with my girl. Not B, some other, way back. So I walked into, like, my friend's house with B, and yo, she was like, immediately she was like, hey, girl, we got to talk about this, this, this. And so me, I just laughed. I noticed but it was for like a second but i got over it and continued just with her laughing we all had a nice time Mo. we cooked indomie ate the girl i carried we ate it together we're all happy laughing just in so we go our way home she was like i noticed that she called you girl <laughs> and i just didn't like it i just didn't like it it's making me feel some kind of way i'm just like okay um First of all, she didn't mean it that way. Number two, I'm sure she's been on the phone with her other female friends and she just, it just happened. Like she just said, you know, I mean, like it's not that big of an issue. But anyway, Sha, something happened on Twitter. Somebody put out a tweet with the same thing and a couple of people, you know, talked about it. So yeah, let's read the tweet that she said out. So her name is, or her handle is at Yolizama and she's like, I say girl a lot, okay? Out of habit, while speaking to a man, I said, girl, and then quickly apologized. His response, listen, we casually say guys or you guys when referring to both men and women. So I'm fine if you don't, if you say girl to me. And she's like, oh. <laughs> so yeah, when I read the tweet, I'm like, that's so true. I say dude to girls every time. My female friends or even girls that I just meet out of place, I'm like, Yo, dude, what's up? Or, guys, let's go. And it's like, sometimes, you know, I mean, we're fighting for equality, right? Men, women, gender, like, I feel like this is, if a man is, if he is comfortable in his skin, his sexuality, masculinity, and is not bothered by what he's being called, or gender, gender, you know, words, I mean, it's okay. At one dot, he's like, wife, he. 
Why that guy? That's it. This is a guy who is actually securing himself and actually understand the female plight. You actually have to walk. Why this guy? Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, another person replies at Jess Regan. At Jess Regan is like, he sounds hot. Like I said, <laughs> this is a man who's confident about his masculinity, isn't bothered by what you call him. Look at his response. Listen, we casually say guys or you guys when referring to both men and women. So it's fine if you say girl to me. Ha! The girl is like, I'll have your things. I will have your baby now. <laughs> it's actually cool that she apologized though because like she said, it was slip of tongue. But let's continue. Another person says, lol, I love this because it's so me, especially if I'm telling a juicy or just exciting story. It's black pop culture. It's trained everybody. Everybody likes watching Ratchet TV. So it's trained most people to say bitch or girl. Sometimes you will make the mistake, especially if you've been talking to a lot of girls that day, to call a guy girl. And it's okay, in my opinion, at Fufu and Dorios. <laughs> sometimes Twitter, Twitter handles are the worst. And sometimes the best. This is amazing. Obehi Janice, that's her name. I want to let you know that I salute you. I, I respect you. And I love this handle. <laughs> At Fufu and Oreos, is like, I love this. It happens to me all the time, and I was feeling weird about it. And I understand. I understand your plight. It happens a lot, and it's okay. Because with men like me, you can be comfortable with talking the way you want to. Know that you now use it and insult me. And now be calling me girl every time. Okay, so that's all we're going to talk about that. That's all we have on that. The next thing I want to talk about is something that affects everybody and i don't know why it's taken very lightly or it's not taken seriously here in nigeria it's domestic violence so i'm gonna play light on it but it's not it's not a funny matter it's not a joke stuff is happening and it's actually accepted by both man and woman genders both genders accept it it's okay for a man to hit a woman or okay for a woman to hit a man it is not okay okay you don't have to get to the point where blood comes out or somebody you know, it goes to the hospital for you to think that it's bad or it's not acceptable. No, no form of domestic violence, emotional or physical, is okay. Verbal violence is not okay. Okay? So, on Twitter again, someone put out a tweet. And I'm just going to read it out to you. So, this person is at Ruby underscore TNT. Put out a tweet. Of somebody else who put out this post on social media okay so this other person put out of course we can't find the name the person do not put his name there now but this person put out a picture of eggs cracked eggs in the sink rusty sink and said this I know a lot of people will call me petty or stingy but this is complete no-no for me how can a woman fry four eggs all by herself just for her alone to eat how can eh? That is the height of extravagance. <laughs> it is stupid and foolish of a woman being. It is wasteful and inconsiderate. My girl came visiting, and this morning she was about to fight four eggs for her alone. Four. I reduced the egg, and she got angry and poured it into the sink. And then I slapped her. She packed her bag, her things, and left my house. I love her, but. I will not tolerate this nonsense. I can't take it. Ladies, be careful of this. This is why many of you are still single. <laughs> hey! The audacity of this man. Is on a different level. Like, how you think her? Yeah? No, you tell me. How you think her? Apart from the fact that this guy had the audacity to put this on social media, he said first. <laughs> that... This eating for eggs is the height of extravagance. <laughs> That's you must be on some dangote level to crack four egg and eat for yourself. This is the highest point of luxury. You're eating for chickens. <laughs> he said it's stupid and foolish. You didn't go to school. You can't use your brain analytically if you are eating for egg. Just of you only. One human being for it. The guy don't he don't subscribe to such. He says it's wasteful and inconsiderate. He now went on to further say, "I love her, but I will not tolerate this nonsense." <laughs> <laughs> he 
He now said, you know what? Instead of me just backing out of this conversation, let me give you a word of advice. Ladies, be careful of these. He said, ladies, be careful because this is why most of you are single for eating four egg. He said, he won that first. Four is too much. She first. She packed her bag and go. He slapped her after she poured the egg in the sink. How dare you pour it in the sink? The picture, see, look. When I, when I read this, I cried. I laughed. But I was just like, what kind of country are we in? In the US, you try this. Police is at your door. Domestic violence is a crime. Women are protected in their society. But here, a man can boldly talk of himself as the man of the house that he slapped her for eating for egg. Is it that you are poor, you are broke? For egg, which is how much? At most... 250 at most 250 naira is what's doing you to slap somebody we can't rate him we can't rate this guy now somebody else now took what that guy put out um and actually now put on made a tweet with it and said when i say majority of you men in this country don't understand what's wrong with you it's like i'm stereotyping so many variations of this rubbish laughing my ass out Limao. peasants <laughs> Let me read out some of the tweets that some people talked about. So the sink is connected to Atomi. The guy overreacted by slapping her or even coming to post this. But four eggs for one person uh, uh, is a waste. Her bed. <laughs> Waiting. Now she eat pass. Somebody has said scrambled eggs take up to four eggs for one person. And that's the truth. My kid's dad likes scrambled eggs. So when he wants to fry it for himself, he can eat up to four eggs. It's only a waste if you can't afford it. Or you don't finish it. To be honest, what is waste? Food that you throw away. If it enter your body, I don't know how it's wasting. It added to the chemical and the size of your stomach. That's not waste. It actually nourishes you. The guy now said, now replied, it's a waste. It's a waste when you flush it down the sink. It's greed if you think you can eat four eggs by yourself. Good morning. Now you're now going to another level. It's greed for four eggs. <laughs> Pressy at Pressy underscore gives says, I fry six eggs with sardine and sausage. Does this mean no man will ever want me? <laughs> oh my god, and that's all I got on this today. What do you guys think about it? I mean, do you think that four eggs is waste or is too much? Or this person just went overboard? I, I feel like whether it's waste or not, don't, don't slap anybody. So, the next thing I want to talk about is something. That affects us all politics you guys know i have a passion for politics and that's actually what started this whole channel in the first place so your election season is coming 2019 we ready <laughs> go get your pvc i so um <clears throat> we've been seeing all sorts happen in this country i woke up two days ago and i saw a campaign photo of kenneth okonkwo an actor veteran actor i respect him for that well, actually, he was in the movie that started Nollywood, as it were, which is Living in Bondage. This guy has a campaign photo. <laughs> and then the slogan of this photo is, When Jesus says yes, no man can say no. That is the slogan of Kenneth Okonkwo's <laughs> campaign photo, like his banner. So I researched, like I went to actually find out, like, what is this about, like, what? And guess what? He's campaigning on the APC. He's in the APC party, okay? Now, I now find out that in 2014, he actually tried, to, he's, he's running for Enugu State. You know, he actually tried to run for House of Reps in Enugu for P, with PDP. And the slogan was, God can do it, so we can. <laughs> I'm like... This is a joke. You're, you're, you're joking, right? This guy, few weeks or a few days to the primaries, he opted out. He just resigned. Handwritten letter. You can check it out online. Handwritten letter. That letter of resignation. I'm leaving the PDP. It was hard. It was a. It was with heavy hearts that people, you know, accepted it. That was what the news said. Hmm. Now, this is 2018. He wants to come out for governor of Enugu in 2019. Gubernatorial candidate. If Jesus says yes, no man can say no. 
I'm not going to say anything, sir. Mom goes to elbow. Any good people, you better wake what up. It reminds me of Fiosi. Fiosi, the lion of a kitty state. This man quoted scripture. He said, God had told him that he's the one. He said, Nobody can try him in this state. Meanwhile, they only sent one policeman to this man. APC won the election. Have you seen the video of him crying that they slapped him, they beat him, he's in pain? I'm in pain! I am in severe pain! I'm in pain! My God! Hey! They sent policeman to slap me! Policeman slapped a governor like me! A policeman beat me up! What do you say? I mean, I can't move my neck! I mean, pain! Oh my God! Help me, help me, carry me! But before I go, I want y'all to know that <laughs> karma is the worst. Mind yourself, okay? Mind the way you treat people and live your life the best way Jesus said you should live your life. But for now, I'm in pain. <laughs> I'm in pain. <laughs>